Hi folks, this is my video on the OCR side text for 2023 to 2024. You might have already seen the videos on Ovid, which I'll link in the description below. Um, this video is going to walk you through Petronius's poem, Love Will Not Let the Poet Sleep. So we're going to look at the Latin and English as a parallel translation. We'll pick out vocabulary you know, and then we'll look at effects that you would pick out for an 8 or 10 marker, including this poem. Okay, let's have a look. Settled in bed. I was only just enjoying the first silence of night, and I was giving my conquered eyes to sleep, when savage love grabs me and raises me up by the hair, and he orders me, shattered, to stay awake. So here we've got quite a bit of vocab. Quite a bit of vocab that you probably already know. Lecto, in bed. Compositus, settled. Vix, scarcely. Prima silentia, the first silence. Noctis, of night. Genitive case. Dabam, I was giving somno to sleep. Lumina victa. Lumina, that metonymy for eyes you might have seen if you've looked at the Aeneid. Uh, victa, having been conquered. Savus amor is savage love. Capis is hairs. Um, and per vigilare is to stay awake. So lots of vocab you know. Okay. You are my slave, he says. Although you love a thousand girls, are you able to lay down alone, hate, stubborn man, alone? I jump up and with bare feet and loose tunic, I advance on every road. I leave no road behind. Now I hurry. Now it pleases me to go. And it makes me sorry to go back again. And I am ashamed to stand in the middle of the road. So, ames cum mili puelas, lover of a thousand girls, solus yo solus, alone, oh alone. Dore is like hard-hearted one. Yacare potes, you are able to lie. Peribus nudis is with uh, bare feet. Tunicaque and tunics, so sort of bedwear. Um, omne per imperio, nullum iter experio, so everywhere was impeded, nowhere was expedient. Pudor est is a shame, stare to stand via media in the middle of the road. So plenty of vocabulary you'll know there from the GCSE language paper. Um, and a few things that you might have to recap just for the literature paper specifically. If we look at the effects, we can see that word order fronts lecto, the bed, um, and silentia noctis comes at the end of the line for emphasis. We have some enjambement because the sentences are running over the lines and often put in a verb like carpe bam and excita at the beginning of the next line to provide like a, a bit of suspense. We have dialogue from the personification of love, and notice that love is saivus amor, savage love. Um, and he adds a bit of humour, really, in the fact that love's pulling him around by the hair. So rather than just experiencing love as a, a bad emotion, he's being bullied by him. We have this ventriloquism, where the poet takes on love's voice. Ventriloquism's a little bit different to just dialogue, because here it shows that um, Petronius, or the poet, the poetic voice is having love say something that he would say himself about himself, lover of a thousand girls. So he's saying, you know, this is what people think of me. What is what love himself thinks of me? And she's quite tongue in cheek and is intended to be quite funny, it seems. Um, we have this balance, omne per imperio, nullum iter expedio, um, which is playing on the kind of hackneyed themes that we see in love poetry elsewhere. Everything and nothing, everything's quite extreme. And we have anaphora in nunc and nunc to give a sense of urgency. So let's keep reading. Behold the voices of men are silent and the noise of the streets and the song of the birds and the loyal crowd of dogs. I alone out of everything dread both sleep and my bed and I follow your command, great Cupid. So, eke, behold, takent, they are silent, voces hominum, the voices of men. Um, if we look ahead, we can see as well, turbaque and the crowd, Canum of dogs, solus ego ex, I alone of everyone, cumptis. Um, somnumque, both sleep, dorumque, and my bed. So we've got a bit of synthetic listening, somnumque, dorumque. Um, Sequo, I follow one of the deponents you probably revised for the language paper. So if we look at the effects, we can see the direct address, eke, behold. We have word order over and over, solus, alone, we have et and et um, for the idea of repetition of hackneyed themes. Um, 
The idea of Cupido coming in as well could be a sense of a punchline. So remember Cupid is an actual god of love, but also erotic love, specifically desire. The poet starts out as though he's talking about actual emotional or romantic love, um, and he presents Cyrus Amor, savage love, as someone really brutal, because in like love poetry, love is often uh, described as a sort of pain to be endured. And you see this in Catullus, in Odia Amo, which is also part of the description, I love and I hate. And in the end, when the poet finally gives in, having gone through all these kind of really hackneyed themes, he gives in to desire, he doesn't give in to love. And that's probably reflected in the repeated references to his bed and going to bed alone, which suggests something more sexual and less romantic. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm trying to get them out as quickly as I can, so they may not be perfect, but they'll hopefully be helpful. Um, please like and subscribe to keep the channel going, and best of luck with your revision. Thanks.